Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we need to do the final thing of setting up the item click method in the main activity. So we have declared the interface which is a food list listener and we basically want the main activity to implement this particular listener. So we'll go into the main activity and after extends implements and this is going to be food list fragment dot food list listener. So we are basically implementing that particular interface and once that interface is implemented you are going to have an error. So here what you need to do is that you need to implement methods and you need to implement the item click method. So simply hit OK and that method is going to be implemented over here. And you also need to make sure that you remove this code which we have added in the previous lectures which basically sets the detailed fragment by default. So we no longer need this so make sure that you delete this thing. Okay so once this thing is done we are basically good to go. So the main purpose of creating this interface was to basically pass in this ID which is nothing but the ID of the item which is clicked to the main activity. So once we have this long ID over here we could go ahead uh, get reference to the fragment and once we have the reference to the fragment we could go ahead and change its contents. So here what we are going to do even before doing that is that we are going to go in the main activities XML code and if you have a look at the second fragment right here we need to replace this fragment with a frame layout. Now this is actually a fragment still but as we are going to run this application on a mobile device we actually need to replace it with a frame layout. So I'm going to type in frame layout over here and let's say the ID of this is going to be something different. So let's say the ID is now fragment underscore container. So once this thing is done you could return back to the main activity and start writing your code here. So now the first thing which you need to do is that you need to create an object of the menu detail fragment. So we will type in menu detail fragment over here. And let's name this object as details equals new menu detail fragment. So once this thing is done the next thing which you need to do is that you need to create an object for the fragment transaction. So we type fragment transaction ft so ft is going to be the object name equal get fragment manager dot begin transaction and as you could see we are having an error and that is because if you go to this thing right here it actually needs to be imported from android dot app dot fragment transaction so if you fix that as you could see the error disappears and now for this detail object you need to set the menu id so we type details dot set menu id and you are going to pass in the ID which we have over here. So this is going to basically set up the exact correct ID. And now what we will do is that we will type in ft dot replace r dot id dot the fragment name which is fragment container with details. So that's going to basically replace the details with the fragment container. And then we'll type ft dot add to back stack and that's going to be null. So these are just the things which we are basically using to initialize the fragment transaction object. And then finally we add a transaction to this ft dot set transition fragment transaction dot transit fragment fade. So this is basically going to fade the fragment when we click the item. And then finally type in ft dot commit. And once this thing is done, we are basically good to go. So the main significance of the item click method was what happens when you basically click the item on your main activity or on the first fragment. So what it basically does is that it accepts the ID, creates the object of the menu detail fragment, then it basically sets up the fragment in your activity. So in order to understand it in a much more better way, let's basically save this code and run this application on our device and see how this thing works. So I'm just going to save the code and run this application. So as you could see the application is up and running on the device. So when I click breakfast as you could see on the right hand in the detail fragment we have breakfast as two whole eggs, bread and coffee. When I select lunch we have the lunch menu and when I click dinner we are going to have a dinner menu on the right hand side. So that's it for this lecture and I hope you guys were able to understand how the fragments actually work in Android. So in the fragment section what we have learned is that how to create a fra fragment, how to design the XML layout of a fragment, how to design a fragment without a XML layout by populating it with a class having an array. We have also learned how to add listeners to the fragment elements so that they could basically pass in information to other fragment and how to basically have two fragments on the same activity. 
So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.